we're going to talk about now in barrel plating. This is another form of uh, plating. Just like in rack plating, you have to go in the solution, you have to have to electrify and everything else. The wood goes in here, and what we have in here is what we call dangling. The electricity actually goes through the bar, through this bar, onto this bar, through the wire, into the danglers, and plate the wood. So what he's going to do now is, he's actually going to take this, and he's actually going to go in the nickel with it. He's going to actually turn the barrel around, and you can tell that they're going slow. He's going to not go in the bar yet, he's going to rinse it in the solution, make sure that solution gets all over the pieces, then he's going to go onto the bar. Just like, just like rack plating, the electricity goes through here, into the wire, and onto the piece. And just like rack plating, you need a rectifier to change the current from AC to DC. Okay, now, this is the work right here that we just took out of that barrel. It's in a basket now. After he comes out of that barrel, he's got to re-clean this work. Right, so now we're going to put the goal on it. He's actually going to turn it around in the gold solution to make sure he gets all that, all the work lubricated with gold so, so you make sure there is all gold on the work before he goes on to the bar. Now he's going to go on to the bar. Now that's actually plating now. Barrel plating takes twice as long as rack plating does because it's, it's all done at a lower current. So he's putting now he's going to be in there for about probably 30 seconds to 45 depending on what color he's getting. Now that barrel's turning away in the solution, as you can see. Now it's gold plated. 